practice? Or was that more related to what led to him not making the trip to Western New York, uh, the personal reasons? Personal reasons for injured reserve. Yeah, Devin didn't travel to, to Buffalo um, for personal reasons. And, and um, is that tied to the IR? But why he's on no. there, or is that a separate issue? No, it's it's separate. Yeah, he had. Um, yeah, he's on injury reserve with an with an injury, not a personal situation. Thank you for uh, clarifying that. Sure. Next question, Doug Kai, followed by Karen Greedian. Well, uh, you had some ties to the 2019 Miami coaching staff, and, and uh, I know that Brandon Bolden played with Isaiah Ford back in 2018. Would you have reached out to anyone like Brandon or, or you know, um, uh, Tyquan Underwood or, or anyone about what you would get, what you guys would be getting in Isaiah Ford? Yeah, we have various ways, um, you know, of trying to do our research on on all players. So it's really would depend on you know players and the contacts and and so forth. But you know, if we have an opportunity to whatever opportunities we have to research and gain information on players, that's what we do. We keep those in our personnel records and you know use them. If as if their opponents or if a player's available. Thanks. Next question is Karen Gregan, followed by uh, Maury Hirschcourt. Good morning, Bill. Hi, hey, Karen. Um, I'm just wondering if um, you've been able to put a finger on uh, the inability of the offense to uh, produce points. Uh, early in games, and how much of a necessity is is it to kind of change that narrative? Yeah, well, we're definitely we definitely want to change it and need to change it. Uh, so that's that's not what we are trying to do, but we haven't done a very good job of it so far. So we'll keep working on it and see if we can uh, be more productive in the early part of the game for sure. Is it, is it a matter of execution or just a combination of factors that have led to that odd statistic? Yeah, well, every game's different, so, but what, whatever they are, we need to do a better job than we've done. Um, it's just not, that, that's just not the, the way we want to play, and it's not a, a good path to winning football. Thank you. The next question, Maury Hirschgordon, followed by Matt Vitor. Hey, Bill, with your shortcomings late in games, I'm wondering how in practice you can, you know, try to improve in those areas to replicate, you know, those high pressure situations. Um, you know, do you have a thought on that and, and how you try to, you know, uh, yeah, replicate those high pressure situations in practice when, uh, you know, you're going to have those same things come up on Sundays and Mondays? Yeah, well, we practice those situations every week, so um, you know you can never predict exactly what the situation is going to be, but you you practice those the concept of those, um, and so we just you know in in all areas of the game we just have to uh, you know continue to to work on those. Like I said, each one's different, and the team you play is different, and so you have to make it specific to your opponent, but um, yeah, we've got to just got to perform better there. Some of it's schematic, uh, some of it's really fundamentals as well, so um, you know, execution and game planning um, well, I mean, all the above we just, you know it's all have to do a better job Next question, Matt Vitor, followed by Phil Perry 
Uh, Bill, Devin wasn't on the uh, on the practice report or the, on the injury report last week. Was, was did his injury come away from the field, or was it something that didn't uh, huh? didn't really manifest itself for, until later on? Yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything to add. He he wasn't in Buffalo for personal reasons, and he's on injury reserve because of an injury. So that's I don't know what else to tell you. Next question, Phil Perry, followed by Ben Volan. Bill, you mentioned yesterday uh, before the deadline that sometimes it's uh, more more talk than action uh, on a day like that. I'm just curious now that obviously it's come and gone, uh, if that's kind of how it ended up, or you know, were there offers made to you guys that that you just didn't feel like were good values for you, or was there just sort of a lack of 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 talk, maybe even? Yeah. Yeah, Phil, I appreciate the question. So whatever conversations we have with other teams, we'll keep those private between us and the teams. Next question, Ben Volan, followed by Mike Reese. Uh, morning, Bill. That was actually kind of similar to, to my question. Did you get a sense that there were deals to be made and why, why do you think it was quiet, mostly quiet, not just for your team, but around the league? Yeah, I just, I said, I just kind of answered that one. Uh, I don't know about the rest of the league. I can't tell you what everybody else is doing. There was also a report that you guys at least entertained offers for Stefan Gilmore. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, not that I'm aware of. Right, thank you. It looks like the last question will be Mike Reese. Bill, um, just going back to Isaiah Mack. Um, how much did the, the time you had in Nashville last August um, play any part in the claim, you know, and just to, as part of the information that you're evaluating whether to make a claim like that? Uh, well, yeah, some, but, you know, he's also had, had playing time, so, you know, we've been able to see him, you know, play competitively in games, Um so I think that that probably had you know a little, but uh, you know all the information is is relevant. It's really you know a question of depth and you know where do you where where do you get it and you know he was available.